Okay, so how are we doing? Uh, today we just like to talk about uh, this time in the system of gacha games. Well, this is just me uh, talking and grumbling about uh, my favorite games while I'm while I'm playing these games. So I'm currently playing Honkai Impact right now, and earlier I logged in to Genshin Impact to get some uh, of the 12 bar artifact that we spawned but after I finish my uh, I use all the stamina I have in Honka Impact I will then uh, do my farming route and spend some resin on Honka Impact well yeah that's uh, one of my problems the well most people complain that they don't have enough stamina in this free to play or resin in this free to play gacha game spirit my problem is different i actually come to realize that uh, the that uh, sometimes i have more than enough stamina and like for example for honka i think the stamina recharges really fast and faster than because like an uh, example, I just uh, woke up, I slept like for maybe 8 hours and my stamina is already full and I've, be and I've uh, acquired like the 30 plus excess stamina, which if I believe if I was correct, if I'm correct, I will check later, double check later, that uh, you get you you uh the excess stamina 35 percent is stored in honkai impact so you will you can save the excess 35 stamina so that does that mean i got i lost out on 100 stamina yeah because i was really sleepy after playing Honkai and Genshin I was really sleepy because I had to like edit videos for like maybe 4-5 or five hours I think yeah video editing takes time even if it's just a short uh, low quality low production video so I remember I did the stop motion it wasn't pretty good but it took me like for I think four or five days, three to five days of like 15, 10 to 15 hours a day editing, just a three minute stop motion video. So, yeah, so again, this is just me uh, talking about stuff. Uh, this is not a well edited video or scripted video presentation, this is just me talking about uh, the games that I love. So, yeah, I hope that. Uh, you guys realize that because I might get comments again uh, saying that it's me rambling well it's me just rambling and try to make sense of my situation because it was easier before when I just played Genshin Impact alone after logging in and playing for like uh, one to two hours I will do my dailies and spend my resin and do my artifact farming and then that will be it unless uh, there's uh, unless there's uh, an event so let's say like two hours from waking up and then like after 12 hours another two hours but I mean, but I am also more uh, more uh, farming the world bosses because I love the combat uh, and I need more mora uh, faster because I'm not a whale. So another two hours of that farming, so that's six hours in Genshin, and then with Honkai, I try to alternate both Honkai maybe two hours as well upon waking up. 
there's an event so that's three hours so that's a total of six hours Honka and six hours Genshin so yeah uh, Well, I play video games the whole day, and yeah, it feels like that, uh, well, I got what I wanted, but having two gacha games means that uh, it will be like uh, gaming full-time because uh, you are logging in, you need to log in at a specific time for the respawn and for the recharge of the stamina or resin, so yeah, it feels like Having two gacha games will be like a full-time job, so that's why I, I consider not to play Punishing Blue Raven. It looks so good, but uh, I can't an add another gacha game. Well, if I want, I can add Punishing Blue Raven, but it means that I won't have uh, that. I can't take that game more seriously. Uh, uh, I can't maximize, but maybe maybe I can play that, but I will not prioritize that. So I will just play it for like a couple minutes. So I shouldn't mind if I miss out on the resin or the stamina, and I will if I won't get the resources to pull for gacha. So because I, yeah, I can't have like three gacha games because I also play console games. So I'm trying to finish. Assassin's Creed Valhalla, but I can't since I'm locked with the uh, stamina and resin. I'm locked down. Gotta prioritize those or else I'll be missing out. But I missed out on the stamina for Honkai today. Or well, maybe I needed a break. But that's it. That's it. Something's gotta give. You know, you gotta sacrifice something if you need time for something if you play multiple games especially gacha games because they are demanding of your time even though the resin stops you from playing but if you have two gacha games uh, the, the resin stamina system doesn't seem to matter and how much more if you have three gacha games so I'm talking about playing games the whole day perspective but it also means that I have to skip karate training. I have to skip uh, socializing. So yeah, I'm trying to find a work-life balance. Because I'm playing... I'm gaming full-time. I quit my job. And I'm just earning money at home. I always wanted but and just play games the whole day but it seems that uh, playing gacha games feels like a full-time job I even quit getting platinum trophies because it feels like a full-time job so what I mean is uh, I want a free life balanced life uh, I want to do the things whenever I want so yeah I think I realize I have to sacrifice and lose out on stamina or resin because there are times that I just want to chill and uh, not do anything or go someplace. I want to exercise too, so when gotcha games, she'll be stuck. Also, yeah, I'll keep the video short. I'll add anything in the description or in the comment below. Have a great day. Thank you for watching. How, do I, how about you guys? Uh, uh, do you feel the same way? How many gacha games do you play? How many games do you play? Well, comment down below anything you want. Uh, let's talk about Genshin and Honkai and uh, have a great day. See you in the next video.